Hello and welcome to The Perturance, a PhD fan mission by Skaven, a made for the 1 million units competition. Let's get started with the preview. The Perdurance, a giant ship manufactured by the Mechanists right before the collapse of the Order, was meant to travel to Lubelm in Lesser Robata and back to the city on its first voyage. Who knew that other cities also had their own underground ancient ruins? At least that's what I expect the Mechanists were there for. After setting off on its return journey back to the city, the ship wasn't seen again for nearly a month, yet a few days ago it was sighted near a shore close to its final destination. This steamship, described by my informant as a roaring beast of metal stained in the sky with gusts of fumes, is supposed to be carrying an artifact called the Mask of Nerlatov. Such a trinket must be of immense value. Let's hope it won't bring about another metal age, but rather a small fortune for me. I don't expect any of the crew to still be on the ship, yet I can still see small flickering lights aboard. The, it is literally only loot goals differing. Okay, let's go then for hard 800 loot. The mask of Nerlathop top must be of immense value. Better make it yours. A luxurious mechanist ship with nobles on board is bound to be filled with valuable riches. Steal at least 800 loot. After you're done, get back to your boat. The ship is surrounded by a strange thick fog. Better stay out of the open waters. See anything inside? A lit lantern, but I can't. Ah. Throbbing it, and it's not unlighting. That seems. Well, okay. Maybe I can't. Un maybe I can't extinguish it. Maybe it's just meant, it meant for me to pick up and put down. Let's. Maybe let's not announce our presence too strongly, right? Let's just leave our uh, lantern somewhere. Ooh, nice figurehead. Oh, that light was knocked over. Something's happened here. Some sub wine or is that blood? There's a mask, but that's not the mask in these. I don't hear anything in there. This is the rather vessel complete with a uh, raising <laughs> gang plan gang go bridge well you know what getting from in there back out here is gonna be Awkward, so let's bring the lantern with us. Gonna avoid getting stuck on the pipe work. Let's go around. It's a very strange pipe work. That's strange, they don't seem to have a head or hands. I don't know how to drive a ship. I 
What happened here? Find the map. Same thing seems to be happening to all these people. They're uh, biological components, as it were, exploding, being eaten away, or something. Oh, this guy still has his hand and his face. Interesting. Journal. We set off to return to the city. I can't believe the things we found in Lubelm's precursor city. The most impressive was definitely the mask of Nelotok, which few ancient tablets mention. Precursors believed it could be used to summon one of their deities. I'm thrilled to show it to Father Karras. Since I'm afraid it might get damaged in the storeroom during our voyage, I placed it in my safe, just to be sure. Two of the nobles from Lubel, Lady Bexons and her lover Lady Curian, joined us as our guests. The amount of gold they donated to our order as patronage will surely help with future expeditions. Second day en route, a few friends told me they would feel uneasy when they're in the storeroom. I inspected the room and didn't notice anything out of order. Seasickness must have gone to their heads. Fortunately, we'll be home in just a few days. The bronze gear that opens the safe bent a little last time I checked the safe. I asked one of the novices to repair it right after a shift in the engine room ends. Fortunately, it... Bloodstained. That's a very good use of the, uh, new dark. Um... Overlays. Right, that's the safe. Which is supposed to have the mask, but maybe it doesn't. Hello. this. I can't see a thing. You know what? Maybe I should have been bringing my lantern with me. But the lantern doesn't actually help me see. Except, you know, put in front of my own face. Right, this is just where I was. Just going around. I hope I don't have to do any sneaking because there's way too much marble in, in this place. Ship. There is some valuable still to be had, so it's a pity that the it's unfortunate for the mechanists, but uh, fortunate for me, I guess. Is the loot goal 800? Oh, this is a fairly normal looking room, isn't it? Nobody died in the bathroom. Is that where that's where I came from? Hey, Karis. Lots of like, oh, this entire door's been knocked off. Knocked off changes. Right. It's weird patches of stone under here.
can barely see a thing, but uh, Latin wouldn't really help with that. Let's go down to another deck. Let's not do that just yet. Okay, so that's the door out to the bow. That's one of the guests. She has also not been... She's dead, but not... Doesn't seem eaten away, which is... Probably a better way to go. DJ Rod. Culinary use of cucumbers. As opposed to their other uses. Oh, he locked his door and hung himself, I guess. Did he write about it before he went? Or did he just drink a bottle of wine? Man, the electrics in this place are really playing up. B.P. Craigie, The History of Craigamus. M. Schlock, Medical Benefits of Long Exposure to Colorless Light. R. E. Cax, Beauty of Tall Masonry. S. M. Gorta, Dichotomy of Superfluous Wimpergs and Meticulous Mascarons. They're all references to other fan mission authors. Oh, really missed that. That would have been bad. It's valuable. Nobody here needs it, that's for sure. That's the door out to the bar, into the bow. I... Let's see what uh, valuables are behind the bar. Phew, we're very close to the loophole then. Oh, we have a dumbwaiter, I guess. Down there is the kitchens and stuff, okay. Look at chapel. There's our loot goal. Alright, oh, I was up there before, yeah. Okay. So go down the dumb ways or I can go down the stairs. <laughs> Let's be like, you know, feel like a sneaky thief. That. was stuck, unable to uh, crouch. Uh, that was a thing. I was just about to say, well, we got some creepy noises down here. We got more than creepy noises. We got creepy whispering silhouettes. Surely they'll die to the sword, right? I 
can barely see it though. What are we getting stuck on? Seem to do damage, so I think stepping on metal is a bad idea here. Wish my uh, room was darker so I could actually see something in here. But clearly, taking a lantern in here would be ridiculously foolish. I wonder if they can be KO'd. Probably not, right? Well, I can not even see the damn thing. Things are damn near invisible. Oh. Do they die? Each of lots and lots of black jackets. Well, not before I die. So, what's clear is that... Oh, there's two in there. So not only do I need to be extremely quiet. Wow, they've got a they've got a bread slicing machine. That looks extremely hazardous. Okay, I think I uh, accidentally got hurt by this fan here. I don't know how that thing did not see me there. It seems impossible, but you know, I just realised. Maybe we can crush it in these gears. That would be pleasant for me, unpleasant for it. Let's wait for it to come and go again because I don't know how long it go it takes out there. See if this lever does what I hope it does. No, this lever does not do anything at all. Dang it! I don't want to be sharing a ship. I want to be shipmates with these weird shambling. I could have done that sentence better. Something like I don't want to be sharing this place with those shambling shipmates. Yeah. That's their official name now, shambling shipmates. Right, I'll wait until he comes back and then go see what's down this corridor. I suppose... Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's the other one. Oh, so much metal around and things you can't see. You're not even aware they're there because they barely make noise. That you need. And of course the fog. Wait, how far does that guy come? Oh, he's coming to search. That's bad. Oh, they don't seem to be able to... Feel me, that's odd. But you know, not unwelcome. I guess this is the engine, engine room now. So one of them is down there. I just don't know where. Maybe I should make a noise up here and then let it lead it out of the room. If we drop down there. We get a ladder. I see the gear, I see the metal gear. It still looks pretty solid, so maybe it'll open the uh, the safe. Run this gear. Did he succeed in flattening it before everything went haywire? So where is the one down here that heard me before? And where do these passageways go? Um, I mean, I suppose I should be asking what are these things, but you know. One problem at a time. Flash mine. Okay, that's interesting. Wonder if flash if bright light damages them. Or whether that's just a vain hope. I think you make slight mournful noises. <laughs> so there was one there. saw me. I can't tell exactly where it is. Oh, he's there. He's kind of stuck. Well, let's just try freeing him. So he was the one who walked into the engine room. That's good to know. And I guess he comes back around now. Oh, 
wonder if there's anything of value on top of that. I can certainly see. How long is he, does he spend down this corridor? About that long, alright. Well, they tried fighting. Oh, hello, these are steps down. Okay, so I should end the way back up then. I guess I need to explore this corridor. He does spend quite a long time in the engine room. I'm thankful for this quiet non-slip. Flooring. Although not all of it is. Not all the flooring around here is quiet. I can't get up that step. I think he's due any second now. Okay. I had a hammer. I drop it really noisily. I wake all the zombies. All over this ship. Luckily, he was too far away to wake up. Alright, we'll wait for him to come and go again. And then follow him back out. I don't think there's anything else there. There's a nice, nice viewing window. To the water. Ooh, is that a climbable vent? I should check that out. He's taking his time. I'm trembling, shipmate. What are you groaning about? Oh, oh fuck, what? He did hear those noises and that just kind of alerted him to problems. He was definitely making different groaning noises. Crouch. This, this. Well, I'm not, not entirely happy about having woken that thing up as much as I did, but. Yeah, he's definitely uh, unhappy now. Question is. Seems stuck here again. Right, well, I think we can leave that fellow down below. Well, we do have a couple in this corridor as well. I don't know where my available patches of darkness are.
This is how we came down. That's right. Okay, I know where we are now. So, one of them should be walking through here. Very soon now. One going by in the corridor outside. Although I don't remember where the room with the safe was. Was it out down that corridor or was it upstairs? Oh, it must have been a terrible fall. Terrible uh, experience. Terribly noisy to be on with everybody clanking around with every footstep. Quarters. Well, I'd like to play the flute. That's nice. Doors, like a gear door. Right, armory. Lever and a doorknob, a healing potion, a flash bomb. Okay, so we've got a flash mine and a flash bomb. And we have hit the expert lit goal with change. <clears throat> I wonder, let's... I was going to say, put the flash mine down and see what he did, what, how he reacts to it, but no. I'm going to save and load again, because one of these guys is definitely stuck. The guy who should be walking through this kitchen area. No, I just realised the, uh, the journal must be upstairs. 
Because we hadn't encountered those guys when I read it. Pretty sure. Well, I'm not so sure if it's safe up here anymore. Did I ever see what was out this way? Oh, this is the chapel. It's the guy who hung himself. Another passenger. the stairs down. That's the bridge. Oh. I don't think there was one I don't think there was one of these guys up here before. I feel like he's new. Let's do this test. Well, it doesn't seem to hurt them. So that's bad. Or <clears throat> damn, oh, was I never stopped to think. Guy's got a very short patrol. But it's not this room. Extremely short patrol. It's not where I want to be. Lack of intelligence or ability to feel me there saved me. Mm -hmm. I think it's the door on the right mm -hmm. that I need. Not certain. opens outwards. I cannot tell if this is the room of the journal or not. Yes, I think this is the room. Yeah, all right, here we go, here we go. Time to get out of here. Indeed. Where did that vent take me? I don't recall, let's find out. No 
know where it goes. Is the answer? Because I get stuck in it because it's too small. It does seem like it's just that room to the left. Which doesn't do me any good. So we just need to go back down a floor. Get to the bridge and then we can climb out the bridge. Well, I guess we'll never really know what happened here. I'm sure this mask had nothing whatsoever to do with it. It's time to get back to our boat and leave this cursed vessel. Farewell. You know what? I was just realizing I maybe should get a good screenshot. All right. May ye sink in peace. Wait a second. Is my boat gone? Oh, thank fuck, it's just impossible to see. I'm just seriously worried for a second. It would have been a good twist though, so I didn't have to find a completely different way out, but uh, I guess the mission is a little too small. Maybe you could have fit a lifeboat or something in here. Alright, we missed Pivotal Loot. We died a lot. Well, that was the Perdurance. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you here sometime soon for the next mission.